Hello and welcome back to Nerd Doc. This video will discuss the future of Cobra Kai, including the possibility of multiple spin-off shows. There will be spoilers for Cobra Kai Season 4, but if you have not seen the new season and don't want to be spoiled, you can check out our other Season 4 videos linked below. If you have your own ideas for a spin-off series, leave them in the comments below. Cobra Kai Season 4 is number one on Netflix this week, and the creators have already finished filming Season 5. We've already talked about where Season 5 may be heading, but the creators have made it clear that the series won't end there. We're going to wait a little bit longer before we talk about Season 6, but the creators have teased possible spin-off shows that can follow some of the Cobra Kai characters. Cobra Kai has been all about the Cobra Kai Dojo versus the Miyagi-Do Dojo, so a spin-off series would need to go in a different direction. You'll need someone from Cobra Kai to anchor the series, and it seems unlikely that would be Daniel, Johnny, or Kreese. One of them could pop up here and there, but they're unlikely to be the series' lead. One of the kids in Cobra Kai would likely be the main focus, so let's start there. A new series could follow Sam or Miguel in college. You could even have them both go to the same school so that the relationship drama continues in the new series. Plenty of universities have karate clubs in their sports programs, so the All-Valley Tournament can be replaced with collegiate sports competitions. You can even add Johnny, or possibly Daniel or Kreese, as the coach of the team if you want to add more of the Cobra Kai cast. Another possible spin-off series option is to go international. This could also be a potential Season 6 plotline, and they're doing this a little bit in Season 5 with Miguel in Mexico, but we're talking a full-on, best-of-the-best international karate competition. Once again, you can bring any one of the current roster of kids along for the ride, with any one of the senseis as the coach of the team. This kind of show would focus more on the fights, but still offer room for relationships much like Cobra Kai. Robbie is a fan favorite, but right now it doesn't look like he'll be going to college. That could change, but he can also just open up his own dojo, or decide to go pro and bring Johnny along as his coach. This could touch on the international competitions idea, or keep it in the US and just have him traveling around the country as he rises up the ranks to the National Karate Championships. You can add in Tori or Sam depending on how the relationship drama ends in the last season of Cobra Kai, and even have Kenny tag along at some point if you'd like. With Kenny being a big part of Season 4 and likely having an escalated rivalry with Anthony LaRusso in Season 5, Another spin-off idea would be to follow Kenny and his brother Sean after Daniel and Johnny shut down Cobra Kai for good. They can join a new dojo, or even go the inner city route with Kenny forced into street fights. Another option is to have him go live with his dad overseas and go right into the international competition route. The only problem here is that it doesn't leave much room for any of the other Cobra Kai series regulars, but if they all decide to move on after the show comes to an end, Kenny and Sean could be the next logical choices. Finally, some people have floated the idea of a prequel series based on Mr. Miyagi. This series would tell the story of Mr. Miyagi learning karate and would feature a young Mr. Miyagi and young Sato, Chosen's uncle from Karate Kid Part 2. This would give you the same Cobra Kai vibe, but in Japan with a battle between Miyagi-Do and Sato Karate. The obvious issues here are casting younger versions of these iconic characters, and having the series take place with an almost entirely Japanese cast living in Japan, but all speaking English since it's unlikely the series would be 100% subtitled. Leave a comment and let us know which characters you think would be included and what kind of plot you want to see out of the spin-off show. That wraps up this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with someone who loves Cobra Kai.